Hey everybody, I'm Robert, and welcome back to the Nurburgring. Today, Misha and I are doing something kind of fun, a little social distancing lap. Yes, hi guys, hello comrades. Welcome to the T6, Volkswagen T6. Uh, as Robert mentioned, and if you haven't heard them, go check out his channel. We are doing actually uh, two videos in one car, which will end up on different channels. Um, so it's going to be so-called so social distancing lab because th how long is the T6, Robert? I don't know, but you're a good three meters from me. I can yeah, we're, we're like, uh, we can probably fit someone in between us as well. Um, so we were thinking, what should we do? Should we just like talk together or whatnot? But we decided in the end, like, let's make our own individual video. And in my case, I posted some questions on Instagram, or at least I gave opportunity to people to, po to post something. It was a bit less moment, so there was not, not much in there so maybe i will improvise whatever but i think it's a cool idea of doing this maybe we can do uh q and a's this way more often huh? more yeah more, more often like when we answer actually the same question in in our own uh in our own way at the same time and th then you can just like <laughs> tune into each other's channels i'm gonna do driving fast car slow because we know this thing's a rocket right <laughs> yeah robert's gonna do the fast car slow <laughs> and uh yeah so i guess we are on the track, so let's do our first first question. Oh, something fell back on the back. We're, we're having a flat out acceleration towards the bridge. Um, what do we have? So actually, maybe I should start with a question that was asked on a long time ago in another uh, video where I gave you like opportunity when I asked like, hey, what do you want to know? One of the most, like the questions was, what do you do at RIMAC? Because in case you have missed it, I have actually this year started working for Rimac Automobili or RIMAC, the way you would pronounce it in, in English. And ooh, it's very exciting, this uh, fast Q&A. And uh, my official title is uh, Digital Content Coordinator. So what is digital content? Well, this is digital content. What you're watching right now is digital content. All videos, pictures, um, anything what ends up on the internet, internal, external, by internal, I mean if we need to take some pictures of employees uh, or make posts on social media from Remax side, or if, for example, if someone uh, would come like Top Gear uh, or any other media or influencer, they make digital content. This means I am involved in a way or in a reason that, hmm, nice cars. Um, I'm involved to assist the team uh, and to make the best of it come true, to make of it the best come out. Um, what else do I do? Actually, the most interesting part about working at Rimac is that there is no such thing as like, this is not my job. Uh, like, no one is going to ever say like, hey, this is not my job if you're going to ask someone. And I think this is why I like so much about it, because it's similar to Apex, but this is something that you would expect less, of course, from such a big company of 700 employees. Obviously, if I, uh, if, if someone like uh, from carbon fiber manufacturing or engineering is gonna ask me like, hey, Misha, can you like make this piece of carbon? Then I'm gonna say like, well, this is not, not only not my job, but this is just like something I don't know how to do. This is obvious, but uh, in general, there's lots of uh, collaborations in the company, and this is what I enjoy a lot. There is such a big variety and I'm very much looking forward to share a lot more materials with you guys. Actually, um, well, you can follow obviously the social media channels of uh, Rimac to find out what uh, I've been doing and uh, what we have been doing actually. For example, my most favorite uh, media project so far is Mandes Mate, where we have the founder and CEO Matt Rimac talking in front of the camera and answering all the questions. And I get to be like once or uh, once a week or once in every two weeks, I get to be his boss, tell him like, hey, you should not say that or you should say this or you should do that or have a different oh, position. Yellow, yellow flag and uh, I think it's pretty for? cool. I think it's also very unique in the uh, in the in the car industry in general or like any industry in general because where you would have a ceo talking in front of camera except that guy in the front of the car so basically another reminder to take it easy on the nebukring it's a great place to uh to be here on the back seat of a t6 and answering some q a's um but to finish my answer yeah so anything digital content wise and a lot of people have asked and i know also victor who have been asking like uh last year for a castle vlog has been saying like, hey, when are you gonna drive Rimac? When are you gonna drive the C2? And actually I did it and the video is going to come out next week. So stay tuned for that. I'm very much excited to share it with you guys. Now, 
what else? Uh, I think that answers pretty much it. Again, like subscribe, like, share on all the uh, Rimas channels, and like you can answer something more. And stay tuned. We have we're very much excited to share more of that. Now, regarding the further questions, what do we have? Uh, uh, there was a question which is kind of related to that. Uh, someone asked, "Where do you see yourself in five years?" <laughs> well, if you would have asked me, like I think if you would ask any person in the world what are you going to see yourself in two months two months ago you wouldn't get the answer that you will be getting now so i think life is a very big surprise and just like let's enjoy it and uh, i want to continue doing what i'm doing to enjoy what i'm doing and uh, yeah that's pretty much it i just hope to, to still be able to uh, share my passion with you guys share my like my um, expertise with companies and just yeah have fun out there so I, I think that's the most important thing having fun in life because life is short you never know what's going to happen and what's going to change i mean uh which other questions replies we had oh we're approaching a, a low low connection zone that's a bit uncomfortable so many many questions were regarding tractor when the, the like the tractor video is going to be published uh of me Driving. Hey, Misha. Yeah. Victor's car. Victor's car. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think we could show this because Victor I think did we not crash. Show, yeah, His exactly. car just broke down. <laughs> so, Victor from Apex, he uh, called us like, oh, my car broke down. And, uh, yeah, we uh, <laughs> it's going now, now uh, towed to, to Apex. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see what's up and maybe like an upcoming video. So, very sorry to see that to see that happen and uh, but luckily it was just technical defect that's my mo most important and thank you Daniel Lenz for providing great service as always <laughs> how many of uh, <laughs> of Apex employee <laughs> cars have I think more employee cars have been towed yeah. by now than <laughs> I know it's pretty it's pretty hurt uh, I'll let the, I'm gonna let this GT3 by okay you don't mind yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been saying like I think a lot more private cars from Apex have been by now like having suffered technical defects or some other things. Like Tom's Range Rover was pu pulled off the property like two days ago to be fixed somewhere else. So it's a, it's a funny little detail. I think it's a, like also a good detail to have that like not the actual fleet cars are getting crashed or anything else. Uh, but yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, tractor lap. I actually did a tractor lap, even two, one in the dry and one in the wet which will be published uh, actually tomorrow and the wet lap will be published sometime uh, sometimes after I don't want to have it all the same but uh, we'll see so there is going to be that uh, your top three laps as a driver or a passenger as a driver uh, me driving the GT3 RS of uh, Nicola uh, when we were chasing Annalena remember last year the very bad passenger that was very good speaking of bad passenger bad passenger Edmund Mondi also a very bad passenger <laughs> the Murcielago lap was uh, was definitely something to remember uh, by all means the car was not suited for the track it's more like a real track tour um, but the emotions of the v12 straight pipe is absolutely uh, amazing it's great and another v12 is a Maserati MC12 by either competition that was absolutely mind-blowing unfortunately we couldn't go uh, extremely fast uh, because like even at 4000 rpm we were getting black flagged for having like uh, too much noise so but that was definitely remarkable uh, another passenger lap e46 with 700 horsepower uh, by Setra Motorsports uh, with Inge who is now a very well, successful in VLN or should I say NLS uh, with the M240 I think this year he's racing something else uh, but these are definitely like the cars that come up to my mind it's like actually four cars that I mentioned not three but uh, they are definitely very cool and of course the Senna lap Senna lap with the Pista last year which me uh, a few weeks ago we were supposed to be like doing again our Car Freitag or Easter laps and unfortunately yeah luckily we can lap now but Car Freitag didn't yet take place um, when, I, when I posted actually the q a it was a picture of a hamburger from uh, devil's diner that are actually doing now takeouts so you have a drive through at the nebuchadnezzar boulevard where you can get the burger you cannot get pancakes unfortunately which is like very sad but uh, you can get these burgers and nuggets so there'll be video of that because of the drive through 
Misha, you want to give away a free pancake voucher to somebody? Free pancake voucher? What's the, gonna be the... I think it's the Whipperman challenge. Okay. Let's see if there's a photographer there. So if someone can find a picture of us or what? Let's see. Oh, uh, nobody's at Whipperman. Ah, uh, okay. They missed it. Yeah, usually we have some like uh, Whipperman challenge. If someone would find a picture of us on Race Tracker, you would, uh, we would do a giveaway. So. But we'll today, find somewhere else. Unfortunately not. Maybe, maybe about, somewhere else. How about exit ice curve maybe? Yeah, exit ice curve maybe. We will see about that. Um, but yeah, if you're going to stop by at the Nevercring, make sure to check out uh, Devil's Diner drive through at, uh, at the Nevercring Boulevard. The video will follow how to get there. Um, okay, what else? What car are you most excited to see come out what you've seen at the ring? I'm very excited to see the Hyundai i30N uh, DCT one. Very excited to see the 992 GT3. Extremely excited for the GT4 RS. That's going to be definitely a benchmark car and something extremely special. Um, AMG GTR Black Series, of course, excited. Um, but yeah, this is something. something All right, Misha, special. here it is. It's the jump at Flansgarten. Get jump this at shot. Jump Flansgarten. We. All right, free pancake voucher. One yeah. for me, one for Misha, first person. Yeah, so we just announced it. Uh, if you're gonna find the picture on Race Tracker uh, of us jumping in Flans Garden, we're gonna give you the a pancake voucher, the first one who's gonna find it. And also, most importantly, don't forget to ask questions on uh, on this on this video so we can answer something for next Q&A on wheels on the Nürburgring. Um, we're almost approaching the end of the lap, so it should be What's the favorite F1 team and driver ever? I'm not an F1 guy, I'm sorry. Um, any information when taxi drives are going to be allowed again? We don't know. We will have to see how, uh, obviously, uh, actually uh, at this point, what's happening right now, this whole thing, the, the contactless TF is pretty much an experiment of its own. Like everyone needs to see, Nürburgring needs to see, the, the government needs to see that everything is functioning well and everyone can obey the rules and uh, we're contributing. So once that works, hopefully as soon as possible, we can start uh, opening up the taxi business as well, but time will tell. What's life like in Germany? Doing Q and A's on the backseat of a T6. I guess it's good. Um, what would have been your second choice or option if you didn't have bought the Tractor Golf? I don't know. It's a very good question. I, T6. I need to, T6, yeah. It, it would have been a T6, but uh, I need to have uh, a wife and kids, I guess, for that. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I will come back to that question later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's uh, something special and unique. I hope it works with us doing our own video and having multiple cameras set up. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to post another question. Let us know what's, how you're doing. Be, be safe, stay safe, and looking forward to see you here at the Nürburgring. Uh, not on the back seat of the T6 because it's not a taxi and you, we're still not allowed to have more than two people in the car. Uh, and other than that, see you then, bye. Yeah, definitely looking forward to next week so I can do something about this, but yeah, that's, that's the next step.